Hello and welcome to another unboxing of the Creative Beast Studio um, Beast of the Mesozoic Raptor Series line. So, as you can see, my collection is growing. You know, now I have three. Uh, pretty soon I'm going to run out of space in the table, so I'm going to have to get a bigger one, right? So, today we're going to be going over another raptor. Okay? The Sargon Mangas. So, this one's really interesting. I'm going to tell you right now why that is. You want to take a closer look before I open it in the box art? You see that? It's pretty nice, right? Got the collection back here, as usual. So yeah, Sargon Mangas. I know it's spelled like T-S-A-A, but it's pronounced Sargon. Something like that. Um, Sargon Mangas uh, means white monster. That's what the name means. So this one was another small one because when it was found in 1996 um, it was mistaken for a velociraptor same size almost the same skull and the only fossils they have for this one is a skull let me check it tells me right here yeah a single skull and a neck vertebrae I'll show you a close up of that in a bit. So, yeah, this one, just like the, the Akira Raptor, didn't have a card as well. I've, I've yet to wonder why some of them don't have a card. Maybe those were the earlier ones. But I'll check on that later. So, this one, the Sargon Mangas, was um, two meters long. Its location was the Horseshoe Canyon Formation, which is Southwest Canada. The time period it lived around 75 million years ago. In the habitat, Mongolian Gobi Desert, it's northern China, kind of habitat. So, distinguishing characteristics known from a single skull and neck vertebrae. I already told you that the Sargon was originally identified as a specimen of Velociraptor. Told you that until being placed in its own genus and species. So like I said, this one was originally labeled as a Velociraptor. And but that was because the skull was almost the same. But they saw that there were slight differences. And like this one was more smooth on the top. For example. Okay, let's take it out. Let's see if I can focus it right there. So the colors for this one was based from the Egyptian vulture. That's a modern raptor or modern bird that they used for the colors of the feathers in this raptor. It's a really neat figure. You can see here, let me see if I can show you a close up. The wings. Look at that. I said extremely careful detail on this figures. Okay, so let's add the tail. Let's see. Initially the way to know which one is down, the one where they have the holes in the bottom, that's the one that faces down. So you know how to put them. As I know the first time I opened these, I thought this was supposed to go up like this. I mean, you could, but then you're going to see the holes right here. So right here. Okay. This jaw is a little bit tight. But other than that, it's a really neat figure. I like how this kind of resembles a beak. You know, the colors right here. All these different joints. All these different joints. Okay, so this one uh, is lacking the, the plastic piece that holds all the base and everything together. So it's just put in a bag as opposed to the other ones over there. The first ones that I got have like their own sleeve and everything. 
Okay, so it doesn't have much for base options. I was hoping to get the taller one since this one, you know, looks kind of wild. So I want to make him look like he's jumping. Oh, and the base. That's what the base looks like. Trying to match it with its habitat. Mongolian Gobi Desert. Wait, what's in Mongolian? There you go. How's that look? Good? I was scratching its head right there. Okay, so there you go. Just give it a little bit, a little spin. it there we go let's give it a little spin for the camera so you can see the details let me see if I can get you a close-up right now let's see let me focus here a little bit right there you see that how it's built it's really basically like the other raptors you know if anything changes it's the color pattern and if you pay close attention to it the skulls as well have different shapes but you know raptors very much look alike they're not like the the ceratops the ceratopsians and the ankylosaurs those you can tell the difference right away and I'm hoping to um, I'm hoping to get those soon. So in the evolution tree, this is where the Sargon Mangas ends up in. Yeah, goes over here. And you know, as you can see, it's very close to the Velociraptor. Okay, well, thank you for tuning in. Um, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want. Um, show this to your family, your friends, anybody that you know that likes dinosaurs and wants to learn a little bit more about it. Remember, I'm learning as I go as well. I'm hoping to study more in the future. I'm learning with these figures a lot of information that I didn't know before. Also, I have a shipment coming in for four Raptors. Um, I'm gonna try to put them on the same video, so I'm gonna speed up the video a little bit. But I really want to show you those, and I can't wait to do it because they have really beautiful colors, and I want you to see them, and I want you to see the really nice colors that they have. So, there, those are the deluxe Raptors, by the way. Okay, so. We'll see you next time and have a good day. Bye.